Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will teach you how to build a to-do list app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So by following along this tutorial, you will gain hands-on practical in manipulating the DOM and handling event listeners and managing data using JavaScript. So this is what we are going to build. We have H1, title, to-do list app, input field, and uh, one button and we have also a beautiful background so let's put some items to our list so let's say go gym okay start react shopping Let's add one more and say, okay, go for walk. So we, we have numbers, we have our items, and we have a delete button. So let's delete now. Let's delete the first one, second one, third one, and last one. So that being said, let's go to our VS Code and uh, build our application. If you don't mind, please subscribe to our channel for more tech and coding contents. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, we have our VS Code here with three files, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and they are empty. So, let's write our code. Let's write our HTML code. All right, that's vulnerable. All right, to to do list up, and let's connect also our CSS. And let's see here to connect our JavaScript. Go to before the closing tag of our body and write script the one with the source and our file name is script.js okay so the first thing is i'll have h1 with the title to do to do list List up, and we'll have also one div with the class. I'll say up, and I'll have also input with ad task input. Let me also add placeholder. And that will be um, enter or add new task. Okay. After that, we'll have also a button with the ID add add task btn. And here we'll say add task and lastly we'll have ul with ad ul and then ad of task list okay so this ul will leave it empty and i will add our li in javascript so the, our delete button and the li list javascript so that's all we need in our HTML. Save and let's run. So that's our app. We have a simple to-do list app with no functionality. So let's go to CSS and uh, let's style first. All right. So this is CSS. Let's style our body. Let's 
Okay, the first thing is font font family. I'll set that to bubbles. Sun surf. We'll give a margin of twenty. And uh, box sizing. It will be border box. Let's give background. Background color and let's give. 470A9C which is navy blue okay and let's give uh, lastly max width with 100% so let's check our page and we have that's our body let's position our input and the to do and title at the center. To do that, let's use our app class name, what the class we give to our div. So the first thing, or maybe for that, let me first do the H1. So H1 text align sender. And I will give also a color of white. That's all we need in our H1. So let's come to our div. And the first thing is margin top. Okay, that's 20. I uh, think display flux. And uh, the other thing is flux direction and its column. Let's say uh, align items, sender, and uh, justify contents, which is also sender. And that's uh, white also. Okay, and let's, let's give font size. Font size of, I'll give 24 pixels. Let's check our. Wow, boom, we have centered our div. Now let's style our input field and our pattern. Let's grab our input. Okay. And let's give padding of five pixels. And let's give a width of 300 pixels. 300 pixels yeah that's enough I think let's also give a board radius board radius of let's give 10 pixels good we good we good and so now let's style our UL and let's give listing style of numeric and let's give bedding of zero. Now let's style our input. I mean, uh, let's style our button. And I will give that bedding of five and a 10. And let's give margin left of just 15. Pixels. All right. Well, that's all. All right. The other thing is we need to style our li. We don't have li now. We have an empty ul. But we'll have in our JavaScript. So let's style also our li. Okay, so we'll say li of 5 pixels. Let's also style our delete button, which we didn't create yet. Delete ptn. And I will give margin left. We'll give margin left of 
10 pixels. Sorry, I messed up. 10 pixels. And uh, let's set our cursor pointer. And the other thing is color. Let's give color to our, I'll make it just red, red, give it red. So that's all our CSS. Okay, so the next thing is our JavaScript. Now let's write our JavaScript code. So I will write to some commands first, get the necessary events, event handlers from the DOM. Okay. So now we have three ADs. So let's grab our ADs. Our ID are here. The first one is task input. The other one is add task button. And the other one is task list. So let's grab our IDs. To do that, I'll say cons. And then I'll say task input equals to document dot get get element by its id and that's task input yeah so second one is const as add add task pta document dot get element by id add task button task btn and the last one is const and it's a uh, task task list task list let's come down and uh, write another comment we need to add uh, event listeners or event handlers. Okay, to do that, we'll say add task btn and I will say click and here we'll add a function, but I like to write it separate. So I will give a function which will declare in different place so let's let's do it here just like that and I will come down here and declare our function so I like to say function okay so the first thing is say const Task text equals to task input dot value. So if dot trim is not equal to empty li equals to document dot create element li so we are creating we are creating our list here remember we didn't have in our html any list items so we are creating here so we'll say li dot inner inner text equals to equals to task Text. Okay. And we'll come down here and I will say also another const. And I'll say delete btn equals to this span. 
right so we'll say delete ptn dot class list dot add delete ptn we'll add delete ptn we'll come down and we'll say delete ptn dot inner inner text equals to delete so let's add this delete button to the event listeners so we'll say delete btn dot event event listener and now say click and this function will be delete task delete task so we'll do the same we did in in here so we'll go down and create this function so we'll say function delete task and here we'll pass event okay event and we'll come here and I will say task list that's task list I will say const const task item equals to event dot target dot parent node parent node just like that and here again we come down and we let's also pass our task list dot remove child and we are removing task item so that's all we are removing the task items okay so we are done in our javascript so let me see one more thing I'll go here and uh, I'll say we need to clear our inputs. Yeah, task input. Yeah, task input dot value. Dot value. And I'll set that to empty. Okay. So let's go to our app and check if it's working. So let's say steady and a boom we have our first item and again go to gym go for a walk and it's okay shopping and there we go and now we can delete 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 so that's all guys thanks for watching don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel for more tech and coding videos